hello guys and welcome back to the channel so now guys this is a victory of sorts but whose victory is it is the question guys i bring you this ipob members who attacked ikirimadu convicted by german court so we all saw the viral video i think going on a year ago now uh ikirimadu who was either the former leader or deputy leader or minority leader of uh, the senate certainly a senior functionary who happened to find himself in Germany and he was accosted uh, by uh, members of the IPOB and manhandled. So that of course has been taken up uh, by the German government and it has now reached its uh, conclusion as again IPOB members who attacked Ikirimadu convicted by German court. So now let's now see how this played out. Four members of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB who attacked former Deputy Senate President Ike Ikerimadu have been convicted by a German court. Recall that Ikerimadu was beaten up by the successionist group members in Nuremberg at an event organized by Indigo Germany in 2019. The four IPOB members were prosecuted for physical assault and sentenced to 20 days of labor without pay in August 2020 but it went completely under the radar so it's not widely reported obviously is what uh, that means no ipob member was deported as claimed on social media but it was gathered that two of the attackers filed an appeal against their conviction but later withdrew it under section 102 subsection 2 chapter 3 of the German Criminal Code attacks against organs and representatives of foreign states are punishable with fines and imprisonment. So a source informs it was only the four persons identified that were sentenced to 20 days of labor without pay. The sponsors were not identified so they were not prosecuted. Although Ikerimadu could institute a civil case against the attackers, a source close to him told the publication that has no interest, so that should be that he, so we take it as that, we start from the top again. Although Ikerimadu could institute a civil case against the attackers, a source close to him told the publication that he has no interest in the issue even though he is aware of the conviction so this is now the 360 now of that thing now that went viral that uh, ikirimadu was uh, embarrassed i think it was actually the new yam festival that was being celebrated in uh, germany and ikirimadu then of course being an able man decided to grace the occasion but then of course he was disgraced so that disgrace now has now found its punishment via the uh, german penal system four members of the ipob uh, have been convicted but who is this a victory for is the question so who is this a victory for and who is the winner in all this is this a victory for ikirimadu uh, i wouldn't say he would claim it as a as a victory and uh, i certainly am not speaking on his behalf i don't know him but i don't imagine that he will be claiming it as a victory because of course the incident went viral and he was embarrassed and more so he was probably more pained by by uh, being rejected uh, by his people in such a public manner so the conviction of these people uh, are of no interest to him as he has indicated now in that in that uh, last paragraph because the incident had happened and he of course had uh, then had to deal with that but the conviction of these people really is just a footnote in that incident as far as he is concerned so is this a victory for ipob uh, i don't know how you are winning that victory because the original incident was widely celebrated by IPOB to the point that their leader even made a broadcast around it and uh, uh, promised that any Igbo uh, saboteurs as he likes to call them that any Igbo saboteurs uh, caught in international shows will be uh, dealt and meted the same treatment so the, he claimed that victory but is it a victory for IPOB because people who sit outside of uh, uh, that that uh, movement would just cough their nose and say, well, this is the sort of a hooligan uh, sort of behavior that we have come to expect of these people. So they are playing to that uh, typecast of screaming and shouting and now physically confronting people. So I don't know 
if that is a victory for them but, or if they are claiming it a victory for themselves. But is it a victory for the Nigerian system is uh, the question. Well, it is not really a victory for the Nigerian system because, of course, the conviction of these people uh, is not uh, are taking place within the Nigerian influence. Uh, they can say they did diplomatic this and that, but this really was a German affair handled in Germany. So not a victory for the Nigerian state, I wouldn't say, uh, more so when a senior functionary of the state was embarrassed internationally. But then is it a victory for Germany itself? It's another question. So yes and no might well be the answer to that. Because Ikeremad, of course, a high-profile person from a high-profile country, because whether you like it or not, Nigeria is a high-profile uh, country. It's the largest black country on the planet, the largest black democracy on the planet, the uh, top five uh, oil exporting. So it's a, it's a, in Nigeria, it's a high-profile country, and this is a high profile functionary of that country uh, visiting a first uh, world first class country like Germany and being accosted in this way. So that is certainly not a victory for that uh, 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 German uh, sort of uh, expectation. It's not a victory for Germany, certainly not, especially given how they like to present themselves as being quite, quite uh, to the letter with everything because the Germans do uh, tend to want to present themselves as being uh, or pristine, uh, precision, yes, that's the word that they like to associate with precision in everything, uh, but certainly that wasn't precise. So certainly not a victory for the Germans on that score. But then of course the conclusion of it, you'd have to say it's a victory for the Germans. And you can say that really on uh, several fronts. Firstly, uh, this incident happened uh, so that was a minus for them, but then they apprehended some of the perpetrators. So that is certainly a victory for them. And then they were able then to go through their penal system to apply their penal codes as a punitive measure against these people. That is another victory for them. And then, of course, the sentencing that they gave these people. Let's just uh, scroll back to see uh, what was uh, said. It says... Uh, it was only the four persons identified that were sentenced to 20 days of labor without pay. The sponsors were not identified, so they were not prosecuted. So that is a victory for Germany uh, in, some, in some senses. So um, the penal code uh, identifies this as the uh, suitable punishment for that uh, crime. So for, uh, because it wasn't really beating up, it was just a... Uh, manhandled it was rough handled that was really it was embarrassed more than anything else so now the uh penal code the punitive measure for that sort of crime in germany is as has been prescribed and i'm sure they would have weighed it heavily against them to punish them as much as they can for embarrassing germany and embarrassing that uh, man on their shores so that penal thing now it's uh it's not even a pr prison sentence by the way it's uh uh, is, is effectively uh, sentencing them to uh, volunteer service for, for 20 days. So that is the punitive measure. So they will go and work for 20 days and they would not receive any pay, which is effectively what volunteering means, except, of course, they are not uh, volunteering themselves. They are being compelled into this position. So that is what that means. And, th and that, by the way, is a victory uh, for the German penal system because the punishment fits the crime and it doesn't really overweigh uh, against uh, the crime that was committed like you would have in the north that somebody will steal a sweet and then they will give him like a tire necklace and you know what that will, um, not just in the north anyway the entirety of Nigeria or the, you, you, the penal system anyway against, uh, against the common man especially in Nigeria is uh, completely at odds with the crime so had uh, this guy uh, or these guys tried to manhandle somebody of uh, Ikeremadu's profile within the uh, Nigerian shores, that would be the last thing that they ever do. And we all know that. I'm not going to expand on that, but you all know what that means. So who exactly is the winner in all of this really is my question. And your answer I anticipate in the comment section. But before you come respond, 
click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray the bell button notifies you every time i drop a new video click on like as well because that helps with the youtube algorithm once you've done all the clickings come join me then in the comment section the incident that happened about a year ago has reached its conclusion in, in germany but who is the winner come pick a side and give me an explanation so i'll leave you here carry this conversation on with you in the comment section but here i say peace